Hi everyone and welcome to today's tarot reading. We are going to take a look at the no contact situation that you are in with your person. What are their thoughts and feelings towards you as well as this connection as well as this whole no contact situation. We're also going to take a look at what are their uh, intentions, any actions, anything uh, that's coming from their part. Um, as always, let me start with the announcements. You can still book private readings with me. You'll find my email address in the description box below. Send me an email. I'll get back to you with all the information that you need to know about that. There is also a link tree link in the description. If you go over there, you'll find everything from my Instagram, my TikTok account, my other YouTube channel. For those of you that speak Dutch, I just recently started a Dutch uh, tarot channel as well. So you definitely go check that out. For anyone that feels generous and would like to make a donation, different ways to do that over there as well. Now, let's dive into today's reading. So there's no contact situation from your other person's point of view, their thoughts and feelings about this whole situation as well as you uh pile number one you have this card right here which is griefing griefing for pile number one this beautiful butterfly pile number two you are gonna be confidence confidence for pile number two and pile number three you are gonna be answers answers for pile number three do keep in mind it is going to be a general reading so not all messages might resonate for you just take what resonate and if it doesn't fit then don't try to make it fit or if a message is only confusing you that message is meant for someone else in the community um if one pile does not resonate, feel free to pick a different pile or maybe even a different video from my channel. If after this you decide, you know what, Lindy is not my tarot reader, totally fine. There are a lot of beautiful tarot readers here on the platform that might be a better fit for you. But anyway, these are the piles that we're having today. If you need some more time to figure out which pile belongs to you, then pause the video here. And otherwise, I will talk to you guys in your reading. Hi, pal number one. So if you chose this card with griefing, then this is going to be your reading today. So we're going to be looking into this no contact situation. What are your person's thoughts and feelings towards you? This no contact situation, the whole ordeal. Um, let's get back to that griefing in a little bit. First off, as a little bit of a control question, I would like to take a look at how you think they feel towards you and this no contact situation just to see if this resonates and if this is indeed your pile so let's take a look pile number one how do you think they feel okay let's see real quick uh, we have the king of swords the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, the King of Cups, and the High Priestess. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Hanged Man. So, <laughs> there is a feeling of... I don't know if this is how you think they feel with themselves, or if this is uh, how you think they see you. But what I'm seeing here is a person that has a lot of regrets, uh, is in still having feelings here. Um really going through that grieving having regrets looking at the past still not ready to let go uh the five of pentacles a feeling of i'm but i'm not good enough or i didn't do right enough or i and then like lower self-esteem with that hangman really taking their time to isolate themselves and really reflect on what has happened their action is on this um and with that King of Swords maybe reacting just a bit cold uh, and direct and sharp because of their hurt, because of their emotions and feelings that are still here involved. So this can be one of two things. Either this is how you, how you 
think they are handling this situation, that they still have feelings for you, that they are grieving it, that they're having low self-esteem about this. Or for others of you, it might be that you think they see you in that way, that you are the one that's grieving, that you are the one that still has a lot of feelings, that you are the one that has a feeling of I'm not good enough or I don't deserve this or, um, you know, anything like that. So it's one of the two. Uh, energy is fluid, so take it how it resonates. But this is, in short, a bit how I feel. What you think they are feeling or going through or how they see you. So if this did, did not resonate, feel free to pick a different pile. Uh, but we are going to continue with how do they actually feel about you uh, the connection and this whole no contact situation. How do they actually feel? Pile number one. How do they actually feel? Okay, I might want to get some more in a little bit, but let's see what we have so far. We have the Five of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, Temperance, the Four of Cups. The Six of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of uh, Wands as well, as well as the Queen of Cups. So how are they actually feeling? I think it's still sinking in. I do feel that they're still going through that griefing motion a bit. With the King and the Queen of Wands, definitely having a very strong soul connection between the two of you. So there is that griefing of that i'm seeing looking back at the past good memories that you had together uh grieving that also a lot of overthinking going on um i feel like almost with that five swords the realization of self-sabotage uh the question of what did i do how did we get here the five of swords is also a little bit involving the ego winning at all cost and what did it cost me right not really thinking about the consequences of our actions only like after the fact when everything happened that's when oh i did this or oh i did that i feel like they're still in their learning process again we do have that griefing i'm not seeing it as permanently as we saw in the previous one um more reflecting still needing more time to learn the consequences of their actions they're not there yet they're not as far as you might think that they are okay um let me get some oracle on this how do they actually feel Let me, wait, let me first take a look at why the Four of Cups is here. Why is the Four of Cups here? What is that contemplating? We have Judgment, of course, the Two of Pentacles, and a Ten of Cups. Okay, so I feel like they're just, again, uh, reflecting a bit backwards. What has happened? Um, the Four of Cups can also be very much looking again at what exactly happened okay because like what i'm seeing here is like with the the cups here it's like oh i drank all the water all the emotions here and did i really did i really drink everything how did that happen what did i what did i do with thinking back on like oh yeah I think I did, but are so focused on what is lost, what's no longer there, that they cannot see that they still have a full cup back there. So more like reflection, judgment, looking at their past, because I feel like they this is somewhat of a pattern that they're having, doing the exact same thing every time, getting in toxic patterns of behaviors, but then expecting like a different outcome or are like confused or surprised that they have the same outcome as they did before because they didn't change anything. Uh, but they're like, what? 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 Happened again? Crazy bitches. Like, you know, like this. They are all crazy. It's not up. Like, it's not me. It's always them. 
they're always out to get me these people are crazy like not really taking responsibility for it again with that five swords winning at all costs i only acted like this because of this always having an excuse i only did this because of this so it's not my fault there is no blame and i do feel that there is slowly coming some more knowledge um in this that they're slowly like is it is it always the other person okay let me take a look how do they actually feel about this how do they actually feel about this we have flying as well as solitude flying and solitude i feel like this is it right they have a challenge uh, which is that maze underneath there and they're always just like flying over it where it's like that's not my problem uh, You know, they could help the people that are stuck in the maze, but they're like that's not my issue. That's them I'm just gonna it's not my not my thing for me uh, and then we have solitude which I feel like is Because I feel like they're kind of not like not wanting to see the behavior that they put out They're not wanting to see the responsibility of their actions here uh we do have the king and the queen of wands where i feel like our king right now is very much focused on because i do feel that you are a good connection for them to have that because i feel like you like it like bumped for some of you this might be a twin flame connection where you just reflect each other's um unwanted behavior back to each other uh, that can be very confronting that can be very explosive um of course where there are two people at fault there are two to blame <sighs> but i feel like they're just like mm. i do feel some sort of transformation because this connection is a different one it's just like they felt it was a different connection, but then acted the same way that they always did, hoping, well, at least the connection is different. So maybe this time it gets better because it is a deeper connection. And then it ended almost like with the same patterns. And then it's like, oh, again, them ending again in solitude and this time giving themselves some time to really reflect or think about it. I still feel that that's still something that is still happening. They're not there yet. Uh, I do see again with that five swords a little bit of deflection. <sighs> okay. Um, let me get this out of the way because I kind of want to take a look at like what what's next, right? What now? What we know this. This is how they're feeling about this connection. Um, I'm not necessarily a big fan of this person, but I do kind of want to take a look at, okay, then, like, what's next? What are their, like, intentions with this connection? And there's no contact. So, let's take a look. Pile number one. What are their intentions now with this connection? What are their intentions for this connection? We have the Ten of Swords, Temperance again, the Six of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, the Four of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Sun, the Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Wands, and at the bottom, <laughs> look at that, again, the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands, both here, again, and again, the King of Wands at the bottom, and the Eight of Swords on the bottom, yeah, okay. So, their intentions and actions moving forward. I definitely feel that they kind of need a little bit more. This no contact will last for a little bit longer. The Four of Swords needing a break. Uh, they really did feel a lot of hurt um, from it. This can also be, again, just like it always ending up the same way. And now that realization hits. And now it's like all of a sudden that all that hurts come together again. Um, with that hangman, the Four of Swords, really needing some time to reflect, to contemplate. What am I doing here? Why am I here? Why does it end up always in this same way? 
I do feel that they have a feeling of if it's meant to be, it will be. I do feel that they do are still open for this connection with that Ace of Wands that there is still attraction very much so here. Um, the connection, of course, is still like if it's a soul connection, it will like still be a soul connection. <sighs> I do feel that, again, that there is this subconscious idea that if it's meant to be, we will run into each other. Right now, I feel like they do need to reflect more on themselves, which I think they also understand that they need to do uh, before ever having reconciliation or before. Because if they don't change this behavior, they're just going to get the same results that they have in the past. Um, so that Six of Pentacles talks about learning as well. learning from past focusing on the good memories and building up on that temperance talks about balanced choosing the middle path uh, adding water to the wine type of thing learning to do so it's not just me 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 you also you need to give and take um, equally in connection like that so with their intentions moving forward, I think, again, the no contact uh, is a good thing to keep that in place for a little bit. I think they need some time to reflect, some rest as well from dating. If they jumped into a next relationship instantly, uh, that's not going to work out. Again, they need some rest or a break or some time apart for themselves because uh, that Ten of Swords need to be addressed and healed and worked through. However, with that sun energy here as well, that's happiness in the end so i feel like there is going to be um the realization of what their happiness exactly is as well as understanding the connection between the two of you a little bit more and if it's meant to be then it will be again where there will be a chance to or you run into each other or you know uh, you always have a chance or a, a choice in the matter if you're like hell nah hell nah then you always have the choice to know i feel like there will be a moment where you run into them again though um and maybe relighting that spark a little bit okay ah uh, i want to get some oracles but which one do we want i definitely want to get like a message from your person but i'll end i'll end it with that what do we want from this do we need some like advice and guidance on this for you on this because like i i'm not really interested in their, their energy any more than this so let me get some advice and guidance for you and then i'll end the the reading with a message from your person anything that they want to say so let's get some advice and guidance on this call number one some advice and guidance is that it okay um we have work through your fears with the new moon in scorpio and the new moon in taurus with prosperity lie ahead so working through fears and when you do or when they do then prosperity lie ahead i feel like this is more advice for them though again working through that hurt and that pain really looking at it and really putting in the hard work and I feel like when they do, then prosperity will lie ahead. Okay, uh, let me get some more with these. Any last messages? We have ascending with transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, uh, preparing for union. So that might be what it is that they are doing. We have talking, interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, a text, call, email, and hovering. So they might reach out to you um soon on this as well i like you someone likes you romance is blooming fun flirting want to date and we have lightning sudden change shocking news surprise epiphany upheaval and transformation so i feel like this will just happen um they will initiate they will start to talk it will be a shocker the expression of i like you and i um worked through my fears and I worked overcame these obstacles that they're having and now I'm a new person and I want to enter this new phase of my life and have that offering to you pal number one um very all of a sudden again you always have a choice um you always have a say in the matter 
Okay, let's end the reading with some messages from your person. Pile number one. Some messages from your person. Anything that they would like to tell you or make you aware of. I hope that you can forgive me one day. I feel you even though we are apart and I look for you everywhere. I look for you everywhere, obviously, because you. I feel like you guys have a soul connection. At the bottom of the deck, we do have I am not available. As well as I feel you leaving me behind. So there is the understanding a little bit. I think they're slowly coming to understanding of this connection as well as their part in the matter. Um, again, I think it would be wise to keep that no contact in for a little bit. I think this person will reach out to you. Uh, there's nothing much you need to do for this to happen. So just let it come when it comes. Don't sit around and wait for it. Because I'm not really seeing like a timeline for this. With with this energy, I feel like it can take a, a, a while for this to happen. Um, but yeah, let's hope with that ascending, they also learn more responsibility for their actions. Um so yeah, I am going to leave it here for you guys. I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. If it did, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed watching it so I know that I can make more of this type of question for you guys in the future as well. If you have any suggestions, definitely let me know in the comments and I would love to take a look at it. Um, don't forget to subscribe. That's very helpful. Also, hit that notification bell so you get notified when... Ever a new video is up or whenever I um, do live streams as well. So have an awesome rest of your day. Go kick ass. You absolutely got this. And then hopefully I will talk to you guys again in the next reading. Hi, pal number two. So if you chose this card with confidence, then this is going to be your reading today. So we are going to be looking into this no contact situation with your person. What are their thoughts and feelings towards you and this whole no contact situation? As well as, like, then what? <laughs> right? Intentions, next actions, uh, anything we can get for that as well. Uh, first off, to have a little bit of a control question to see if this is indeed your pile, uh, we will be taking a look into how do you think they feel. So how do you think they think and feel about you, about this no contact situation? Let's take a look. How do you think, pile number two, how your person thinks and feels? How do you think they think and feel? Okay, let's take a look. We have the two of ones, the Hierophant, the Tower, knight of pentacles the five of cups and a page of pentacles as well at the bottom of the deck oh we have the nine of pentacles as well as the moon so i feel like the answer here is good i guess um uh, there is a little bit of i don't know <laughs> i don't know that's why i'm asking uh, <laughs> which i'm like okay bad um I feel like it's very, you feel very divided. One one moment you think they're doing all right and next moment you're like, well, maybe they're just trying to hide it a little bit. Um, that they are griefing. It came very sudden, a surprise, uh, unexpected. Uh, but at the other end, you're like, well, I, I feel like they're doing all right with that confidence. Um, or maybe even that you think that they are might like hiding their true feelings behind their confidence. For some of you, they moved on very quickly. For, uh, yeah, I feel like you're just like, no, I don't know. That's why, that's why I'm watching this video. You tell me how they're feeling. Um, so if that's how you're feeling, like this is it. This is your reading. Again, at one end, there's a feeling of they're doing really well. They moved on. Um, 
they're like you know just like living their life at the other end you're like maybe they're hiding it they're not really we're not on speaking terms obviously so i don't know uh so i kind of want to leave it there if you're just like you tell me i don't know like i can guess but uh, like i honestly don't know uh then that resonates this is your reading let's take a look let me not talk about it uh because that's not why you are watching this so let's jump straight into how do they actually feel pile number two how does your person actually feel about you and this whole no contact situation? How do they actually feel? We have the High Priestess, the Knight of Wands, the Six of Wands, the Page of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Fool. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant, as well as the Four of Swords. So I feel like they feel like if, if you ask them, how is it going? How are you? Well, exactly how you can expect them to be uh, without Four of Swords. Taking a little bit of a break. Taking a little bit of break. Breathing. Um, which so you're, you, I can already hear some of you like taking a break. They're like fucking around with everyone that's like willing to where it's like yeah okay but that's kind of <laughs> that's kind of what like letting loose not having to think about it it i don't think it means anything uh with that six of ones just like short sense of satisfaction uh very much feeding into that devil energy of short-term satisfaction short-term highs short small victories just because you won the battle does not mean that you won the war um, hiding behind their confidence here. Um, I think they definitely see it as a totally new beginning, a new start, and then kind of like let loose. Not really thinking about it and just doing it. I don't care. Let's just do it. Like, let's not think about it. Let's just go. Let's just, like, I don't have to think about it. Let's just go. Uh, I kind of want to take a look at that high priestess because that sort of can be about, like, following your intuition, but it's also a very... Um, mysterious energy. Uh, we have the Three of Cups as well as the Two of Wands for that High Priestess. I feel like they are just very much being guided by friends, family, pressures from outside. What are the expectations of me and like going with it that way? Following that? I do see some like worrying. I think like when the party's over and they're home alone, I think that's when the real thinking happens or, you know, where their true selves kind of show or come out. Again, hiding a little bit behind that mask of confidence. Because I honestly feel that they're not exactly sure themselves how they're feeling just yet. Just because they were like, okay, great. Ending, new beginning, let's let's go, let's start, let's move forward. And not getting into serious dating. Taking a break from uh, relationships. Okay, let's take a look with some oracle cards. How do they actually feel? and think about this no contact situation a balancing act so one moment they're fine with it the other moment they're again a little bit not necessarily troubled but uh thinking about it back and forward we have into the unknown like i said i feel like they might not know exactly how they're feeling themselves as well as well as ghost lens where time is freezing up Kind of what I'm feeling here. Time freezing up. Standing still. No progress. Again, yeah. Balancing it can also be that they are balancing a little bit on the edge of falling over when it comes to their emotions. I think they're, again, just chasing short-term satisfaction because they don't really know what, how else or what else or, you know, how to move forward from this. Also not really knowing the consequences, not taking time to stand still and, you know, again, time is kind of like standing still with them. There's no real progress 
or working on themselves or even like grieving or moving on it's like all of this what happened between two they, they kind of like stuffed in a box and put it up on the attic under a whole lot of other bullshit that they never look at to uh, like disappear uh which obviously is not gonna happen um but yeah that's kind of a bit how i'm how i think they're feeling so uh let me clear this up and then we are gonna take a look at like what's next like their intentions what like what is next for this connection because again i feel like they're not dealing with it so of course keep in mind you always have a choice right just because i say like oh they're trying to reconcile does not mean that you should just like go with that you always have a choice in the matter uh, but let's take a look at what are their intentions for this connection what are their intentions for this connection or what does the future what do they want with this no contact what do they want with this no contact okay i'm already getting a vibe and i don't like it okay we have the emperor we have the devil the lovers the king of pentacles the nine of pentacles the ten of pentacles the page of wands the sun the hanged man and the magician so a lot a lot of major arcana um so this i feel like for them this connection is not yet over uh, let's see at the bottom we have the chariot yes and the four of pentacles of course so i do see <laughs> them prematurely uh coming back towards you uh but not necessarily with an offer of a relationship because i feel like they do also understand that one you don't buy that bullshit um and two they are like i'm not ready for a connection and uh, where i'm like yeah no shit because you're like not dealing with your bullshit um four of pentacles is very closed off energy not wanting to open up then you might ask why do they come towards me um because i feel like there is a feeling between the two of you they feel very comfortable with you they feel very easy uh being with you it feels natural it feels good but i'm also seeing again with that devil as well as the page of wands very short-term satisfaction the realization of just like sleeping with whoever is not bringing in that good feeling at some point anymore uh and they're like i don't know why like why is that why is that when was the last time that i did feel like that when i was intimate with someone and then like obvious i feel like obvious then they come to you with that and so just go like can we not just not be like friends with benefits or like not li really labeling it with that ten of pentacles i do feel that they see you as someone that is very like long-term committed relationship potential marriage material but at the same time they're still holding on to their ego wanting no commitment wanting no labels uh just wanting uh, fun experience the, the the good things in life and not the responsibility with that nine of pentacles wanting to maintain their own uh individual being individualism uh, their own time, their own no responsibility. Um, and because they are like that with that emperor, they think they are offering the best for both of you. That what it is that they're offering, that's what's best. Because if we get into a relationship, I'll show the same behavior. I'm still very close off and that hurts you. So it's not good for you as well. So let's just do this instead. I feel like this is a very good talker. <laughs> I think they can explain what's going on. But like it's like turned into... Because, okay... But how does that impact you, Pal 2? Like, how is that a you issue that they cannot open up, that they cannot control their urges or their emotions or work through their toxic behavior? And now it's just like, well, you want me and I want you. So, and this is the best that we can offer where none of us get hurt, uh, which is also bullshit. Um, but also with the magician, I feel like they are manifesting you. I'm not a fan of this person, to be honest. Um, like, I love the confidence, but it's getting a bit where it's like, slow down. Um, okay, let me get some, like, advice and guidance on this. How number two. 
anything that we need to know about this. Okay, so we have the blue moon with believe in the impossible. Okay, so believe in the impossible. As well as the new moon in Scorpio with work through your fears. So this can be something that can be worked uh, through. That if you feel very connected to this person, you do not, not like this no contact. And you also want to get in um, contact and in a connection with this person again. Believe in it possible things can change, but it does require to work through fears, to work through toxic behaviors. Um, if this, for some of you, this might be a toxic uh, connection in the sense of a codependent relationship where one of the two feel, feels very scared to express your needs because you're scared that the other person might run away. And so just like accept everything that they throw at you because you feel like at least now I have this person, right? Again, this does require work. Believe that things can change. Believe in the impossible where you're like, that's not happening. They're not changing. It's not a thing. Believe that it can happen. Work through it. And um, I think that way you also know where you stand with them. If it is just like fun and it is just physical um, and they don't want to work through it, then you also have your answer. Then you can stop hoping um, for that impossible to happen. But first, you need to believe that it can happen to test um, the truth of it. Okay, let's take a look. Pile number two. Anything that we need to know about this? That's it? Okay. Uh, we have, I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting, and want to date. So with that, I like you is very much, again, the just, the, no, I like you, right? If Is there feelings, like, like is for, like, I like my friend, or I like my dog, or I like, you know, that co-worker. It's not any tale of deep emotional connection and feeling where it's just fun and flirting, one to date, very, you know. Like, we can dive deeper into it, but... I feel like there's a little bit of hesitation because of the second card that we have here, which is the mask. Not showing their true feelings. Hide, personify, pretend, delude, and gaslighting. And that's a little bit, again, the mask of that self-confidence. Uh, we also have photograph with looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, and making new memories. So again, I do feel that they will uh, come back at some point because of good memories that they have with you looking back reminiscing and wanting to recreate those so same um circumstances Ma wanting to make new memories missing you um in those times as well but yeah i would have as like advice and guidance i would have very hard boundaries with this person if you decide to get involved any more with this person. Okay, let me end this reading with some messages from your person. Anything that they would like to tell you. Anything that they would like to tell pile number two. I wish I could share my good news with you. Like I said, just a lot of like thinking back on what you brought to the table. And now like wanting to... If something good or bad happens, they're like, who do I want to call first? I feel like they're like pile number two. Um, and we also have, I regret lying to you. At the bottom of the deck, we have, you and I were too young. So there is that ac acknowledgement of immaturity here. Maybe we were too young. We weren't ready yet. I do regret how I treated you. I do feel with this one. Okay, you can talk, because this is a good talker, this one. So you can talk all you want. We need proof. We need actions. We need, you need to, like, there is some trust here that is broken. And you, I'm not just going to give you just because you are confident, because you are attractive, because I want you. That's not enough reason to then just, like, throw my own self-worth away um, to accept this. So keep an open eye on this person. Um, 
I do see this person coming back in your life maybe a little bit later, which again, I'm not hating this whole situation at all, where I'm like, don't get involved. Just take a look at what it is that they're offering, what it is that you want, and if you're okay with that. And think about it, not just because this person gives anything, you should just like accept it, because maybe you're not going to get anything else. No, what is it for you? You, be selfish. What do I want? And does this person fit in that picture? Yes or no? And if the answer is maybe, okay, then we can work on it. Are you open to work on it? Um, and have healthy, open communication. So yeah, I kind of want to leave it here for you guys. I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. If it did, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed watching it so I know that I can make more of this type of question for you guys in the future. If you have any suggestions for future readings, definitely let me know and I'll take a look at it as well. Don't forget to subscribe. Have an awesome rest of your day. Go kick ass. You absolutely got this. And then hopefully I will talk to you guys again in the next reading. Hi, pawn number three. So if you chose this card with answers, then this is going to be your reading today. So we are going to take a look at this no contact situation. What are their thoughts and feelings about you, about this no contact situation, as well as like what's next? Uh, anything we can get from that. With this answers card, I feel like a lot of the answers you're hoping to find in this reading are already within yourself. You already kind of know the answer here. Uh, as well as this connection just gave a lot of like epiphanies. For others of you, this could have been a connection that was just divinely guided, was life lessons that needed to be learned. But let's take a look. First off, uh, as a little bit of a control question, I want to take a look for you guys how you think they feel about you. How do you think they feel? Um, and if that resonates, that means it's your uh, pile. If it does not resonate, feel free to pick a different pile or even a different video from my channel. So let's take a look. Pile number three. How do you think your person thinks and feels about you? And this no contact situation. How do you think they feel? How do you think they feel? Okay, let's see. We have the Page of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and the Five of Cups. At the bottom, we have the Eight of Wands, as well as the Three of Swords. So, uh, I feel like you think that they think this happened all of a sudden very quickly it kind of escalated they're still hurting over it um i don't know if there had been an argument or you guys ended in an argument that that's still something that's like lingering with them when they think of this connection having regrets the things that they said um looking at what is lost as well as not really making an effort to like apologize or actually change the things that they regret um looking back at the past and the good memories reminiscing again missing maybe grieving even a little bit um still feeling i don't know if there's an expectation of them making like a move just for like physical something um still finding you very attractive and wanting to make more like I don't know, to see if you're still there. Something like that along those lines. Or, you know, where they're just like, let's make a move real quick. Uh, so I kind of want to leave it here. That's kind of all the things that I'm seeing. Uh, it doesn't have to res resonate all for you. If one of two things just resonate for you, that's all fine. Then this is your reading. But these are a little bit of little things that I see that you might think how they think I feel about this connection. Let's very quickly move forward with the actual question why we are here, which is how do they actually feel about you and this no contact situation? Pile number three, how do they actually feel? How does your person actually feel about you and this no contact situation? Okay, let's gather everything and take a look. We have the Queen of Swords, Strength, the Two of Wands, the World, the Five of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Cups, the 
the seven of pentacles and the six of ones okay at the bottom of the deck we have the king of swords so uh at the very least one perfect uh match couple here so i do feel that there is again that answers after that ending i think they had uh some like reflective time with that king I feel, again some sort of soul connection is kind of what i'm feeling here where you guys were pretty much the same very sharp with your words having maybe an argument back and forward um let me hurt you before you can hurt me or i'm gonna hurt you even more than you hurt me that type of like immature energy that's going on with that five swords wanting to win at all costs and so self-sabotage because winning the where is it here the six of wands winning the the battle does not necessarily mean winning the war so it's like short-term satisfaction with winning that battle but with that their self-sabotage and disconnection that you guys could have had with that queen of pentacles and the king of cups i think this is the connection that you could have had with each other where there is a lot of feeling emotion caring for each other a uh, very calm nurturing energy as well but then that king and queen of swords came out where you guys are very sharp and very like pointed towards each other um where there's the realization like oh, i could have made different decisions um the seven of pentacles indicates should i invest more into it um work on it in hopes that i will have um a good harvest or should i just burn this bridge and move on and start over should i start over or should i try to fix it i do feel that there is still attraction here with that knight of wands as well i don't know if you guys had like a moment of just that physical between the two of you again but that might still be something that's on their mind They do understand, again, the answers I feel like are very much coming. They're trying to look for the answers to these questions. Again, the questions, should we start over? We had an ending. Should we not just like respect that ending as well as like if we start over, things cannot just like continue the way that we left off because that's not healthy. So should we start completely over? Uh, should we try to fix things? Should we just part ways? Uh, not be bothered with each other again? I think they're very confused. Very much looking for the answers themselves as well. Okay, let me get some oracle on this for you guys. Tell number three. How do they actually think and feel? How do they actually think and feel? Okay, we have a lot... We have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, boing. We have an unexpected visitor, an ux unexpected visitor, and I feel like that kind of was that moment. For some of you, I feel like there was a moment of physical attraction again, and maybe uh, more than just the attraction, or like acting upon that, where it was a very unexpected thing that happened, but not necessarily an unpleasant one. Uh, we also have the bone collector, and that to me is spirit right she is like mother nature spirit to me that knows what best like look at her smile it's just like you're wishing for something and she's like well here it is and then you kind of like look at her to me she's just like a fun grandma that like does what's best for you and you kind of look at her like seriously seriously and then you get like this cheeky smile from her uh which i absolutely love then we have the sad embrace as well as the talisman so again i feel like that there is a lot of growth that happened with the both of you i do feel that there is a very strong connection or pull towards each other at the bottom of the deck we have into the unknown into the unknown and i feel like that's a little bit it with that bone collector as well trust me if this is meant to be, it will happen and we'll, we'll bring each other, like, you guys together again. And I kind of feel like it's, like, moving in that direction with that talisman. They are trying to learn. They are trying to grow. They do accept, um, like, what happened as well as they're part of it in it. 
Okay, I kind of want to take a look at now, like, what's next. I think we, like, kind of get it. This is kind of, like, slowly moves into, okay, what's next. I do feel that spirit has a hand in this connection. Uh, so, with this answers as well. It's also, like, spirit just going, like, trust that we bring the answers when you need them. And no minute or second before them. Um... So let's take a look. I kind of want to take a look at like the future of this connection. What are your person's intentions moving forward with this connection? What are their intentions moving forward? I'll take that one too. Okay, let's gather everything. We have the Two of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Magician... The High Priestess, the Page of Cups, the Seven of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Five of Wands. So, uh, I don't necessarily think that they have any intentions. I feel like the universe has intentions for this connection because it's not a connection that's over yet. Uh, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so it might take a while for this to transpire, for this to materialize um, in your guys' life. But I do feel that both of you are manifesting each other not the way that you were but the way that you will be if that makes sense um and it's going to be a very big surprise when it happens and it will make you think back on the happy memories that you guys had together that you did have good times together but when you meet again you guys are more well balanced you both have grown up a lot you both learned the lessons um and when you got, I do feel that when you guys meet again, there is that internal struggle a little bit of, should I, shouldn't I? Like, there's this unexplainable, like, pull towards each other. Um, but we're kind of, like, a little bit, like, fighting. Like, we know how it ended last time. Did we really change that much? Like, you know, uh, that internal struggle a little bit of, should we? Really, should we? And I feel like the, with that Wheel of Fortune, that's things we cannot control. We cannot control. We have no influence in what happens or what comes to us. What we do have is a choice when it does. So for some of you, this can be um, the lesson returning spirit going, are you sure you don't want this? Are you sure you learned this lesson? For others of you, it can be like, how much have you learned your lesson? This is a soul connection. Like, can you now... Um, transcend the obstacles that were in the way before and make this new connection um, with this person again so that's going to be different for all of you but let's take a look i want to get some advice and guidance for you on this okay that was quick um nothing will come of this situation so right now holding on to this connection is not gonna again you have no control over it so right now i kind of want to say let it go and when it's the timing for this connection to return it will return you holding on right now is just gonna make it longer and longer before it comes back we also have the new moon in leo with confidence is your key to success and i want to get one more we have a new start is coming with a new moon. So I do see the chances of reconciliation. But first off, we need to let go of this because right now nothing will come of this situation. A new start is coming. And by then, I feel like your confidence is going to be key to success. I think you both have uh, elevated yourself up to a next level. Being more confident, more self-love, more healthy boundaries know how to handle them respecting the other people and i think again that there will be more balance between the two of you even if you are already where it's like i already brought that to the table i think back then like then uh it will be more balanced so they step up as well and with that then as well confidence your case to success so if you believe this uh to con come back and succeed again confidence your key to success so work on that if you are to the to the point where it's like if this comes back you're like hell no also confidence your key to success because you know you have the confidence and you know what you deserve what you want and how to keep that boundary 
and again a fresh new start if that's the case with you this is just then a reminder or a question from spirit like are you sure you want a new beginning are you sure you're ready are you sure you don't need to learn this lesson again uh and then you can also say yes <laughs> yes thank you and goodbye um again you always have a choice in the matter okay let's take a look at some more oracles on this anything that spirit would like you to be aware of this anything spirit would like you to know we have lightning sudden change shocking news surprise epiphany upheaval and transformation again i feel like that's when it comes back again we have stabbed in the back heartbreak pain separation deception shocking attack i feel like this is a little bit what we're needing to heal from first and we also have keys on a ring many options decision unconventional string along and one night stand so many options again you always have an option you always have a choice in the matter um if you need some time to overthink it it's fine uh with that stabbed in the back again that's something that we can now focus on first and heal and transition out of i want to end this reading for you guys with some messages from your person anything that they would like you to be aware of anything that they would like to tell you at this time we have it is time for me to heal now i love you and i don't react when people mention you at the bottom of the deck we do have i wonder if you are happy without me and i wish things could be different we will be together again i want you um so again yeah i definitely feel that there is that desire still there for you as well as love right now it's a time for heal again right now is the time for that no contact to stay in place a little bit or at least you know uh not in romantic relationships um and i feel like this will come back to you at some point you always have a choice as always uh but yeah i do see that happening so I am going to leave your reading here for you guys. I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. If it did, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I love reading about it. So thank you for doing so. Um, like the video if you enjoyed watching it. So I know that I can make more of this type of question for you guys in the future as well. If you have any suggestions for future readings, definitely let me know in the comments. I'll take a look at it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. But just to have an awesome rest of your day go kick ass you absolutely got this and then hopefully i will talk to you guys again in the next reading